We pray for our country's salvation to the uttermost. Salvation to the uttermost for our country. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Manolia. Look in my eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone pray for me, Lord God. We pray fire in our country. Heavenly fire that burn away the chaff in the mighty name of Jesus. That burn away the chaff and everything that's not of you in Jesus' name. We pray for our country for salvation to the uttermost in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, Thank you, Lord, for your love for this country. In the name of Jesus, save the people of this country to the uttermost. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Everyone pray that prayer. You pray salvation, for, uh, salvation to the uttermost for South Africa. And the fire to fall on South Africa. Not any fire, but heavenly fire. For the burning away of chaff in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray for our country. Salvation to the uttermost. Our families, our country. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that our country will have its opportunity again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Opportunity to be a mission country. Evangelist country to reach other nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you that you prepared this country for world evangelism. Thank you, Lord, you prepared this country for world evangelism. Thank you, Lord, for the fire that you cleanse our country of all the chaff and everything that's not of you in our country. And thank you, Lord, you prepare this country for world evangelism. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a prophetic atmosphere. Meaning that God is want to baptize this country with fire. To cleanse this country of all the chaff. To burn away the chaff. So this country can have another opportunity, the opportunity of world evangelism, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Everyone say amen. I take it to 1 Corinthians 3, verse 13. Each one's work will become clear. Now, when he speak each one, he's speaking about individuals, he's speaking about families, and he's speaking about countries. Each one's work, work will be tested. Amen. Each one's work will become clear. For the, day will the, the, for the day will declare it. That is the day of opportunity. Because it will be revealed by fire. Amen. It will be revealed by fire. And the fire will test each one's work. Of what sort it is. We might think we are great in this country. And then the fire will come and test our greatness. And then maybe we can find that we are not as great as we should be. But it's not time to give up, friend. It's time to ask God to refine us more so that we might be used of God in Jesus' name. For example, just give an example. Maybe we do well in rugby like we did. We took the World Cup. We think we're a very great country because we took the World Cup. But in heaven's sight... Maybe we do too little for the poor. And maybe we do far too little for world evangelism. Maybe that's far more important than winning the World Cup. The Rugby World Cup. It was very great when you took the World Cup, for sure. And we think we are very chuffed. We think we are great. But maybe in heaven's sight, God wants us to do more. Because what is more important, to look after the poor people in our country or to win the World Cup? For the sports people, to win the World Cup. Mm, I think in God's eyes, 
it's more important to look after the poor in our country than winning the World Cup. And I think it's more important to win the nations to God if South Africa can be part in world evangelism, we will get a great reward and even far greater than getting the World Cup. For, I just use this, uh, that as uh, an, an example, but it's a real example as well. Amen? But God's got far greater things in mind. And to get to the greater things, we need more fire in this country. I don't speak about fire burning down something. I speak about holy fire from heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen? Because I think to look after the poor in our country is more important than winning the World Cup. And heaven's sight. The world looks through different eyes. And heaven looks through another eye. What is important to the world is not so important in heaven's sight. What is important to heaven's sight it's many times not understandable by the people of the world. Because many people will think, well, it's more important to win a World Cup than looking after the poor in the country. I say to you, in heaven's sight, I got nothing against the World Cup, so glad. But in heaven's sight, it's far more important to look after the poor than winning the World Cup. And let me tell you something, and if you want to get the bonus for this country in heaven, on Judgment Day, we should get involved in world evangelism. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know why the devil hates the USA so much? That was for a long time the country that was sending more missionaries to the countries which were not safe than any other country. Another country that's doing very, very fine with that at this point of time is South Korea. South Korea, a previous Buddhist country, is sending so many missionaries around the world now because they had a great revival. We pray for a great revival in our country and we pray for great fire that we might get involved, that it might be common for us as South Africans to be involved in world evangelism. Amen. Amen. Pray, Lord God, we pray for fire in our country to burn away the chaff so that this country might become useful in your mighty hand. In the name of Jesus. And everyone shout, Amen.